So this video does contain spoilers for Mistborn Era 1, Secret History, and Era 2. So you have been warned. Kelsier, Kelsier, Kelsier. So Kelsier is my absolute favorite character in all of the Cosmere, hands down. He is just, I can't get enough of him. I reread Mistborn the Final Empire just to go back and read more Kelsier. I can't help it. He's my favorite character. But I've been thinking a lot lately because I am in the middle of a reread of the Mistborn series for my year of Cosmere that I'm doing. And I'm really struggling with how to define Kelsier as a character. Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Is he the bad guy? And honestly, what I'm kind of feeling is that he's really either or, <laughs> depending on the point of view that the story is told from. Like, I really believe that in Mistborn, if you tell that story from a different point of view, Kelsier can very easily end up looking like the bad guy of the story. But since he is my favorite character, I'm gonna give him a benefit of doubt. We're gonna go through a pro-con list, you know, good guy, bad guy, hero villain list, and kind of examine his actions, his motivations, and see where he really lands. So Kelsier as a character is extremely complicated. And before we jump into the pro con list, I do want to talk a little bit about his backstory just to give some context. So Kelsier is probably the most famous line. There's always another secret. And that line right there, I think says so much about Kelsier as a character that we really need to spend just a little bit of time on that. Kelsier was born of a ska mother and a noble father, which means he's illegal. Like his very existence has to be a secret. He is a secret himself from the moment he is born. He does not know a world in which he is not a secret. He doesn't know a world without secrets where secrets are not the main focus or our main point. And you can only imagine what that would do to someone's psyche and their way of looking at secrets and the way they, their relationship with secrets and keeping secrets and using secrets. Like that's, it gets very twisted from an early age that secrets are not inherently bad because he is a secret. So obviously he can't see himself as just inherently bad. That's just not how we're wired. But I just wanted to say just a little bit about secrets before we got into it. But that does bring me to our first mark on Kelsier, and that is he's a liar. <laughs> like, there's no two ways around it. Kelsier is a big fat liar. He keeps secrets, he lies, he manipulates, he will keep literally anything from anybody. Crew, friends, family, does not matter. If it helps him achieve his goals, he does not mind using secrets and lies to achieve it. I mean, just looking at Mistborn, the final empire, the entire time he had an entirely alternate plan, albeit a backup plan, but an entire plan that he didn't tell the entire crew about. Nobody knew about it. He had planned on creating this myth and legend around himself, martyring himself, using that to spur a rebellion for the people to rise up and overthrow the final empire. Like, that's a big secret to keep from everybody. He also lied to the soldiers in the caverns, uh, the rebel soldiers when they were building up their army and kind of misled them about his abilities and his powers and what they were capable of, which ultimately led to them going out and attacking a group of empire soldiers that they were not ready for and ended up getting them all slaughtered. So kind of a big lie there as well. And apparently that's one thing that does not change with dying because even in the lost metal he's still using lies and secrets he's keeping the fact that he doesn't have his alimentic powers anymore from his entire crew which the only rule of the crew is that we tell each other everything i mean that's i can't i can't give you a vote for hero based off that that's that's a definite mark in the the villain category bad guy but one could make the argument that Kelsier's motives were good. Like he was lying and manipulating, yes, but it was in an effort to overthrow an evil empire and prove the lies of Skaz. He was against slavery and wanted to free these people and help them. So it was, it was good motives 
and he just happened to use some bad tactics to do it. His motives were good, even at the expense of a lot of personal cost to himself, up to and including, you know, death. So to say he was committed to a good cause, okay, yeah, we'll give you that. You know, he sacrificed himself for the greater good. Definitely get you some hero marks for that. Although, if we're gonna talk about Kelsier's motives, we should remember that his actual motive for the entire Mistborn Final Empire book was not to help people, it was revenge. Like, pure, simple revenge. The Lord Ruler killed the person he cared the most about, and he wanted revenge. And he was willing to use anything and anyone to achieve that revenge. He was willing to use the rebellion to enact his revenge. He was willing to use Zazid's religious teachings to help him achieve his revenge. He was willing to use his crew, willing to use his family, his brother, all to achieve his revenge. This was all a revenge story. Let's not forget that Mistborn was not a story about a rebel cause. It was a story about a broken man's revenge. And yeah, revenge plots, it's hard to cast a hero for that. I gotta, gotta give you some villain points for that one. And Kelsier even said it himself, you know, that the the old Kelsier died in the pits of Hassan. So even when you get to the point of him sacrificing himself for the rebel cause, he in a large part already considered his life over. So the sacrifice wasn't nearly as as great, I would say, in his point of view, as it would appear outwardly. Like, he, he was already willing to give everything up, but he was giving it up for revenge. Let's not forget that. Not for a good cause. He manipulated a good cause in order to achieve his revenge. And if he could have done it a different way, he probably would have. So for that, I, I gotta give you a villain mark. Sorry, Kel. However, he wasn't a purely selfish being. Kelsier did have a few moments of genuine doing good for other people for no other reason than he cared about them. Actually, the only time I can think of it is when he jumps in to save uh, Ellen and risk his entire plan to save Ellen, who is a noble, which on face value he despises, but because of Vin, he's willing to risk everything to save the man she loves. So that, I gotta give me a hero point on that. That was a true, genuine, selfless act. And sadly, I think about the only one I can really think of off the top of my head, but there's at least that one. And he does have a huge, huge soft spot for Vin. I mean, Mare always wanted a daughter. Breaks my heart every time. So for that, I give him a hero mark, definitely. And just a few lines of reading Kelsier, you just feel the charisma pouring off this guy. But he does, in some cases, use it for good. Like The ability for him to get the good out of people, to take criminals and thieves and truly nurture them to the point where they really, truly care about other people first and other people's well-being and are willing to you know, do things for the greater good. His ability to create a team and do that to them is just second to none. It's really, really remarkable. I mean, what he's able to do with Breeze, I mean, let's be honest, that's, that's a wonderful transformation. So being able to to lead a group like that and to really unite them together is just, that's hero worthy. Gotta give you a good guy mark for that. I mean, he really, he trusts people. And that's, that's one of the ways he's able to build a team like that is once you're on his team, you have his trust, period. Even though he knows at some point that trust is gonna be broken by some people, he's still willing to trust 100%, knowing that it, you know, sometimes it's gonna come back and bite him. And for someone that's so steeped in lies and secrets and things like that, for him to be able to, to trust so openly, that's, that's hero, Mark. Good guy. Good guy, Kel. On the other hand, he kills a lot of people. 
like a lot, a lot of people. And we're not talking self-defense here. Like he actively goes out and murders people. Like that's most of his actions in Mistborn is, is him just going to murder people. So where does that leave us? Square in the middle of gray, in my opinion. Kelsier, he is a thief. He's an assassin. He's a criminal. He's a rebel. He's a leader. He's an inspiration. He's a symbol of hope, a keeper of secrets, a savior, a survivor. But is he a hero? No. Is he a villain? No. And I think that is what makes Kelsier such an outstanding character and something that just fans absolutely revolve around and are attracted to because Kelsier is not just a, a role in a story. He comes off the page as a real person with flaws and hopes and scars inside and out. And it's just makes for a good read, but you can't really put him in any box. But now for a bonus round. A lot of people I've talked to try to defend Kelsier as he's definitely a good guy. Yes, he had, you know, some terrible means at which of accomplishing things, but those things were good. He was achieving good things. He was willing to do whatever it took to protect people. He was willing to do whatever it took to overthrow an evil empire and, and save the world. True, but the same can pretty much be said for the Lord Ruler. Hear me out. The Lord Ruler risked his life to stop someone else from releasing ruin on the entire planet and destroying the world and everyone in it. And he took up the power in order to try to save the world and tried to create a better world out of it when he had that power in his hands. That sounds like a good guy. He knew that Rune would be coming back at some point to try to finish the job and destroy the planet. And so he spent a thousand years putting things into place to try to protect the world, to make sure he was in a position to take up that power again and save the world again. Sounds like a good guy. Now, yes, he used some, some pretty harsh tactics. He killed some people. He oppressed some people. He manipulated and lied and kept secrets. Kind of like Kelsier. Just over a, you know, a bigger scale, let's say. It's definitely a longer time period than Kelsier had to work with. But I think that's one of the secrets to Mistborn and why that book works so well. It's because the hero and the villain in the story, they're not that different. They're both doing everything they can to try to achieve what they see as good and the best possible outcome. And that makes an excellent story to read. If you've enjoyed this, guys, please like the video, subscribe. That really does help the channel out a lot. We've got a lot more Cosmer stuff coming up, along with some other book reviews in the fantasy genre. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one.